Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Street Smarts, the show where people try to prove how smart they are by predicting just how stupid other people can be. Now, I've searched every nook and cranny of this country looking for common Joes and Janes and tested their street smarts by asking basic, basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a few croutons short of a salad. And speaking of our players, let's meet them. Hello, Crystal. Yeah. Say hello to Crystal, everybody. And we got David right there, everybody. It's win or take all here on Street Smarts. That means only one of you will be walking away with the cash. Now, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First, I nearly tossed my cookies when Lauren showed off one of her unusual skills. Lauren, I understand you can bend your fingers all the way back. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. A lot of people can't do that. But... <laughs> so, Lauren, where are you from and what do you do? Um... Weymouth, Massachusetts, I'm a bartender and a hairdresser. A bartender? My best, yeah. yes. Ba bartender. Ba yeah, and a hairdresser. Bar. And a waitress. <laughs> All right, there's Lauren. That was gross. And in the Windy City, construction on the Park Hyatt Hotel came to an abrupt stop when I met Mark. Now, Mark, how long have you been a construction worker? About eight years. And you're working right over here today? Yeah, the Park Hyatt Hotel. Now, what part of Chicago are you from? North Side. Do you have any unusual talents or hobbies? I'm a, I am like the horses and a... Uh, unusual hobbies. You're a gambler, man. You're saying yeah, you bet on the horses. Yeah, like betting on the horses, chasing women. Okay. All American kind of guy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite movie of all time? I don't know. I'd say Goodfellas. You like Goodfellas? Yeah. Yeah. That's Mark. How am I funny to that guy? And finally, I decided to recruit a recruiter named Nicole. What, what branch of the military are you in? I'm in the Air Force. I'm an Air Force recruiter. Okay. So, what Air Force recruiter? You're, you go to like high schools, colleges, recruit guys? That's right, I recruit those kids in high school. I'm trying to get those thugs off the street. Very good, that's a, that's a very noble job, very good. And how many people have you recruited? A lot. <laughs> so Nicole, can you please show me the vibrator? Oh my God. Come on. Are you guys ready? Do it. Oh, okay. You're a real nice girl, won't you back the thing? There's Nicole, everybody. Time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You lock in your choice, and a correct guess is going to earn you 100 bucks. Woo! Okay, guys, let's do it with Who Knew It? The first question I asked to Lauren, Mark, and Nicole was, in A Few Good Men, what did Jack Nicholson say after Tom Cruise demanded to know the truth? Who knew it, guys? What do you think? Lauren, Mike, or Mark, or Nicole? Who knew it? Crystal and David are trying to figure out who did. And we're just about, okay, oh, are you locked in? Crystal, you're locked in? David, locked you're locked in. in? You're locked in. All right, we got a mark there, huh? Before we see if we can get you guys any money, let's see what Lauren had to say. And a few good men, what did Jack Nicholson say after Tom Cruise demanded to know the truth? Well, it's none of your business. That's what he said? Yeah. It's not a right answer. Thank you, Lauren. All right, now listen. Crystal, you think Mark's going to know this one? I'm going with Mark. And David, you think Mark too, huh? I'm gonna think Mark, he likes tough guy movies, and this is one. Good strategy, let's yeah. take a look. In A Few Good Men, what did Jack Nicholson say after Tom Cruise demanded the truth? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> that was scary, it was like Nicholson was right next to me. <laughs> That's the right answer, you both had Mark, way to go, 100 bucks for each of you, all right, we're off and running. Here we go, next question in the round, guys. What product is promoted as dolphin safe? Who knew it? Do you think Lauren, Mark, or Nicole knew what product is promoted as Dolphin Safe? All right, David's spinning around, so is Crystal. Almost ready, okay, and you're locked in? Locked in. Okay, and let's see, uh, David, you think Nicole, huh? I think Nicole, she's got like more of a touchy-feely vibe, and I think that she's <laughs> gonna know it. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> what product is promoted as Dolphin Safe? Life Vest. Life Vest, it's Dolphin Safe. Sorry, David, she did not know that one. That doesn't even make any sense. All right, Crystal, you're gonna go with Lauren. You think she knows? I'm going with Lauren. She's a bartender and waitress, so she oh. runs across a lot of people. She All probably right. has a lot Let's of knowledge. Let's take a look, see if you're right. Lauren, what product is promoted as Dolphin Safe? Tuna. You like tuna? I love tuna. What do you, what's your not, favorite? Not the, not the dark tuna. You have to get the white tuna. Why, what's wrong with the dark tuna? It, it's too fishy. She knew it, way to go, Crystal. Another hundred bucks for you. You're two for two right now, David. Don't worry about it. We got a lot of time left. Here's the last question of the round, guys. 
What are you doing if you shank it and land in the rough? Who knew it? Lauren, Mark, or Nicole knew what the hell I was talking about on that one. All right, and okay, you guys are locked in. We got a Mark and we got a Nicole, very interesting. And uh, Crystal, you're gonna go with Nicole, right? You think? I think Nicole's done some shanking in her life, so. Okay. All right, if you get I this, you'll have a perfect know. score for round one. Let's take a look. What are you doing if you shank it and land in the rough? Skydiving. <laughs> Not a right answer, Crystal. I'm sorry. Now listen, David, you're gonna go with Mark. You think he's gonna get this one? I think he's gonna get it. I think it's more the physical, athletic well, thing. Let's go for the tie game here. Let's check it out. What are you doing if you shank it and land in the rough? Uh, you're hitting a golf ball off course. <laughs> Do you play golf? I've tried it. I'm just a <laughs> hacker. Not too good, no. <laughs> That's a right answer. You had, uh, you had Mark. Way to go, David. 100 bucks for you. Ties up our game. You guys smoked through round one. Nice job. Recapping the scores. Crystal, 200 bones right there. Nice job. <laughs> David hanging with her right there. Also got $200. All right. Watch our players rack their brains trying to figure out who blew it when we return. What does BMW stand for? British Motor Vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. It's time to meet our players. Now, Crystal, what's this problem you have with putting clothes in the hamper? Well, I was at the gym and I was on the Stairmaster for about 20 minutes. Oh. I proceeded to go to the next machine and everyone was looking at me. I thought, you know, I'm looking pretty buff. Yeah. Comes to find out a pair of panties had gotten lodged in my sweats and were dangling from my ankle. Yeah, all right. Okay, very nice. Now, David, you're a performer. Now, when you did your best show, uh, was the crowd sold out or what? It was sold out every night but that. And because I was a director, I had to pump everyone up. So I went out naked. And we all did the whole show naked and we videoed it. And how many people were in the crowd? None. Oh, well, there was none in the crowd, all right. Nothing. I don't, I don't even want to know what kind of show that was. All right, sounds like old Calcutta. All right, it's time to raise the stakes as we enter our next round. Who blew it? This time we're asked the same question to only two of our Asphalt Nine signs. One answered right, one answered wrong. Now each time Crystal or David correctly identifies which scholar tanked the question, they get 200 bucks, yeah. Now you guys can earn an extra 200 bucks using the dunce cap in this round, and it's sitting right in front of you. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think will perplex your opponent, buzz in and dunce them. They cannot answer the question, you get 200 bucks. There you go. Now remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. All right, here's the first question I asked both Lauren and Mark. I asked them, what happened to the Lindbergh baby? Oh my God, Crystal, you've been dunced. David, put it up on her. No, 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 no. Goes on Crystal's head. Crystal, if you cannot answer the question, the $200 goes to David. If you can't answer it, you get the 200 bucks and he's gonna sport the cap. I'm gonna read it again, you got five seconds. Here we go. What happened to the Lindbergh baby? It got put up for adoption. That's a wrong answer, Chris. I'm sorry, 200 bucks to David. Nice job, David. All right, now, you guys, who do you think blew it of these two? Lauren or Mark blew it? Show me who do you guys think blew it? Flip that up, there we go. All right, Crystal with the dunce cap, David. Was nude at one time. All right, here we go. Okay, you're both locked in. You both have Mark. David, do you think Mark blew this one, huh? I do. I just think that his interests aren't in babies. Okay, let's check it out. What happened to the Lindbergh baby? It disappeared. <laughs> what do you mean it disappeared? How did it disappear? It came up missing. <laughs> well, what, Somebody I mean, stole it. Someone stole it? Yeah. So like kidnapping? Yeah. Okay. That's a correct answer. I'm sorry, guys. The Lindbergh baby was kidnapped and uh, sadly murdered. Uh, now, Lauren. Lauren's evidently the one who got it wrong, so let's take a look. What happened to the Lindbergh baby? Oh, my God. The dingo got her. The dingo got that baby. Dingo ate the baby? Got the baby, yeah. And who was Lindbergh? Um, Cheryl Streep. <laughs> Meryl Streep? Meryl Streep. Yeah, yeah Meryl In that movie, right? Mm -hmm. right. Thank you, Lauren. All right, guys. All right. All right, here's the question I asked to Lauren and Nicole. I asked our lovely ladies, who's evil Knievel? Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Lauren or Nicole that blew this one? Who's evil Knievel? We got a good game here. David's up 200 bucks. Thanks to that key dunce. All right, you guys are locked in. You both think Nicole. All right, and Crystal, you think Nicole blew this? I think Nicole blew it. Okay. I don't think she knows too much about um, motor racing. Okay, let's take a look. Who's evil Knievel? Some guy from the Star Wars. He's a Star Wars character? Yeah. What did Evil Knievel do? I mean, obviously we know he's evil. He killed people. <laughs> 
She blew, you both had Nicole. Nice job, another $200 for each of you. The correct answer is he was a motorcycle daredevil. Uh, this, she thought he worked on the Death Star. Okay, all right guys, last question this round. I showed Mark and Nicole, I showed them this photo and asked them, who is this? All right, <laughs> who blew it? What do you guys think? Do you think Mark or Nicole blew this one? What do you think, guys? Photo, very distinguished looking man. All right, okay, uh, you guys are locked in, right? All right, and uh, Crystal, you think Mark's gonna blow this, huh? I don't think Mark watches too much news. I okay, let's take a look, see if we can tie the game up for you. Okay, Mark, who is this? Al Gore. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right, Crystal, I'm sorry. It looks like Nicole's the one who blew it. Let's take a look. Nicole, who is this man? Bill Clinton's twin. That's Bill Clinton's twin? Yeah. I didn't know Bill Clinton had a twin. I didn't either, until I saw this guy. He doesn't have his nose. <laughs> she blew it. Nicole blew it, David. You said she would. You extend your lead. Nice job. It's Al Gore. Al Gore. All right, folks. Let's recap the scores. David, you got 800 bucks. Nice job. So you're falling back a little bit. You got 400 dollars. Now that our players think they know who's got some horse sense, let's see who they saddle when we return. We'll be right back. Fill in the blank. Okay. Shoot first and blank later. Run later. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back. We're about to go from a trot to a full gallop because it's time to pick your pony. This time, Crystal and David will each choose one of the three Boulevard Brainiacs for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is now worth 300 bucks. Yeah. And to keep things interesting, we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round, guys. Only this time, it's worth $300. And remember, there's only one dunce remaining in the game. Now, the player who was trailing chooses first. That's Crystal. So, Crystal, who would you like to ride out the round with? I choose Nicole. You like Nicole? You're going to go with Nicole? Nicole? All right, David, how about you? I'm going to choose Mark. You're going to go with Mark. You're going to go with the construction guy? All right, cool. All right, Crystal, here's the first question we asked to Nicole. Finish this saying. If you want something done right, you have to... All right, do you think she got that right or wrong? What do you think, Crystal? She got that one right. She got this one right. She knows this. I think she lives by that. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Finish this saying. If you want something done right, you have to... Do it yourself. Do you agree with that? No, not always. I get my boyfriend to do it. He'll do it right. <laughs> she got it right. Way to go. Way to go. Crystal, no yeah. We're only trailed by $100. We got a good game going here. All right, first question to Mark for David. According to the old saying, who gets the worm? What do you think? Do you think he got that right or wrong, David? What do you think, buddy? I am going to have to say that he got it right. It's pretty easy, and I think he'll get it. All right, look, good enough. Let's take a look. According to the old saying, who gets the worm? The early bird. <laughs> and you get up early, you're a construction guy, right? Yeah, but I, I missed, somehow missed the worm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer, David. Way to go. Back and forth. We got a great game here. All right, so uh, next question for Crystal. This was uh, to Nicole. I asked her, where do the Dutch originally come from? Oh, you've been dodged, Crystal. Throw it up there, David. $300 on the line. I'm gonna read the question again. You have five seconds. Here's the question. Where do the Dutch originally come from? Holland. It's a correct answer, David. She totally freaked out on that one. Oh, Crystal, that was huge. That gives you 300 bucks. You're only trying to buy 100 bucks. Now, the issue at hand, do you think Nicole knows this right or wrong? You think she's gonna get it wrong? Okay. I don't think she's too universal. If this is a correct prediction, you're going to jump into the lead here. This will be big for you. Where do the Dutch originally come from? France. They come from France? The Dutch people have little wooden shoes. Uh, come... They come from Dutchland. They come from Dutchland. There you go. All right, we got it. So wrong answer. Way to go, Crystal. She did not know the answer. The answer is the Dutch. All right, it's from Holland. Holland. All right, David. David, you're, uh, you're trailing now. All of a sudden, she came up huge there. All right, here's the next question to Mark, David. What's an edifice, is what I asked him. Do you think he got it right or wrong? What's an edifice? He's kind of a tough guy, but I think it's just a little beyond him. Do you think he's going to get it wrong? <laughs> I do. All right, let's go to Mark, see if he uh, misses it. Mark, what's an edifice? An orifice. It's an orifice? <laughs> you're constru you've been a construction for eight years? Yeah. I'm going to tell you, actually, the edifi an edifice is a big building. Really? <laughs> See, I learn something new every day. <laughs> he got that wrong. Way to go. Nice job, David. Put you back into the lead. Back and forth we go. Okay, this is the last question for you in this round, Crystal. To Nicole, what's the name of the highest U.S. federal court in the land? Do you think she got this right or wrong, Crystal? 
You think she got it wrong? I don't think she's in the Navy, actually. Okay. <laughs> she's a recruiter. She said she was. Let's find out. What is the name of the highest U.S. federal court in the land? The Supreme Court. Now you're in the government, right? You should know that. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> she got that one right. I'm sorry, Crystal. She showed that she does work for the military on that one. David, you have a slim lead here. This would be a big, uh, big coup here if you can extend your lead here before we go to the final round. I asked Mark, what condiment could you pour on a slug to make it shrivel up and die? Do you think he got that right or wrong? I Most think, uh, I think he might have had a cruel childhood and I'm right. gonna go with right. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> what condiment could you pour on a slug to make it shrivel up and die? I'd say acid. Pour acid on it? Yeah. <laughs> that would pretty much make anything shrivel up and die, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you could take one of these pigeons here in the park, same effect. Yeah. <laughs> That's the wrong answer. We're looking for a condiment, salt. We were looking for salt. Sorry, David. Sorry, David. Yeah. Don't worry, buddy. You have a slim lead going to the final round. 1400 bucks for David. <laughs> 1400 bucks for Crystal. It's going to be a good ending here, folks. Crystal and David will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Lauren, Mark, and Nicole. The leech choose one of the three street scholars, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their last wager. Here's the question I asked all three. In school, what does P.E. stand for? So stay tuned, because the only thing worse than forgetting your talent gym class is missing out on... The Wager of Death. Don't go away! Someone knows CPR because it's time for our final round, the wager of death. <laughs> Crystal and David, here's what's going down. During the break, you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Speaking of totals, David, very nice. $1,400, very nice. <laughs> Crystal, one step behind him with $1,300. Now remember, only one of you will be walking away with the cash, which means everything is riding on the final question of the show today at Street Smarts. And here's a question I asked Lauren, Mark, and Nicole. In school, what does P.E. stand for? Okay? Now, Crystal, I'm going to get your choice first. Who are you going to go with? Everything's riding on this choice. You're going to see Nicole's clip. Very interesting. You feel confident, Nicole? David, how about you? This is big. You got the lead. See if you can hold on, win some money. He's going with Mark, okay? That means nobody picked Lauren, so we're gonna say bye to Lauren. See you, Lauren, all right. Now, Crystal, here's your girl, Nicole. We're gonna see what she says. In school, what does PE stand for? Physical education. Oh, that is the right answer. PE, physical education. You chose Nicole, Crystal. You have $1,300. Did you say she would get it right or wrong? Flip it over. Did she get it? She said right! <laughs> Crystal, how much of that $1,300 are you going to add on to? Let me see how much you're going to add. You're going to add your $1,300. Bang! All of it! Oh my god, Crystal, very nice, $2,600. All right, David, you chose Mark. This is big. She's now got the lead. Let's see what happens. In school, what does PE stand for? Physical education. How'd you do in PE? Uh, straight A's. <laughs> All right, Mark also said P, uh, physical education for PE. Uh, David, you had Mark. He got this right. You were once in the lead. She now has the lead. You need this bad. Did he get it right? Did you say he'd get it right? He said right. Now, David, you had to wager almost all your money to win this game. What'd you do? How much? Oh, he went for all of it. 